Z Wireframe is a plugin which allows to customize the wireframe appearance. It's a custom renderer derived from the Maya's Viewpoint 2.0, which draws a geometry on top of the current one. Several input attributes bring you to you so that you can have more controls on the display. To launch the UI, just type this command in a Python console. Please refer to the installation video to have a detailed explanation on Maya plugin installation procedure. You have several ways to activate the custom viewpoint. You can either set that option at the renderer panel or in the Z wireframe UI by sliding this button widget. If you now select a geometry, it will set the operation on that current mesh. You can keep selecting different mesh, it will still have an effect on the last selection. In the case that you have nothing selected, you can still force the behavior by clicking on the add mesh button. It creates a Maya set and stores a specific DAG node with in that set. As a result, any time you will have an empty selection, then the mesh will be specified will be affected. To clear the set, just click again on that button while nothing selected. At the top of the UI, these buttons handle the colors of the components as RGB. The alpha channel of the surface is driven by the slider below. Note that these parameters are persistent and saved for the next Maya session. The depth priority acts like a 3D layer system. You can set this value to force the drawing on top of the rest of the scene. It won't show a great difference until you combine the Z wireframe with another of our plugins. Line width changes the thickness of the wireframe. 1.0 is the default value, but feel free to change to something that fits your needs. In the color selection, you also have access to its RGB channel. Point size stands for the size of the selected varices. Again, you can change their colors within the corresponding color button. It could be a useful indication to know what direction a polygon is pointing to. You can override the color of the back facing surface by ticking that checkbox. In the color selection, you can also have access to its color value. Back face calling has the same effect, but the color will remain the same for both sides of the surface. Enable that option to hide the polygons not facing the camera. Z wireframe draws on top of the current geometries. You can specify whether you want to overlap the existing surface. This parameter is actually a shortcut to the shading attribute found in the shape of the object. To take the benefit of the surface alpha, you may deactivate this option. To speed up the performance for heavy geometries, it's possible to delay the data calculation. Force refresh will execute this trend during the next idle event. You now have an idea of the functionalities of the UI, but it could be different depending on the version you're using. It may change for the next releases since we'll keep upload updates. To get notified, please subscribe to the social networks in the description. Have fun!